Sports Minister Tracy Crouch cut the rope, marking the official opening of the K Sports hockey pitch. It will now be the new home for the K Sports hockey team, previously known as Cobdown. The change of name and venue is already reaping its rewards. We've gone from two men's sides and two ladies' sides. Immediately this season, we're already up to three men's sides and the verge again of another third ladies' side. Um, so the, the growth factor just from the initial pitch construction and the partnership has been huge. Much like any sports club, the key to success and sustainability is improving participation at grassroots level. The, the junior part is our next big growth. That's our next big focus area. Having this wonderful facility now gives us that opportunity. We've got a wealth of schools around us. Uh, as you can see, some of these guys here out enjoying it today. So, you know, that's our real next big area and, and getting kids and the community playing hockey. That's music to the ears of the Chatham and Aylesford MP, who's concerned about a decrease in youngsters playing hockey. I certainly think that hockey has declined as a sport that's being played at school and certainly when I was at school you know, hockey was the only sport that we played in the winter along with netball and I think that actually by getting people to come along to local facilities like this perhaps it will uh, encourage a new growth in hockey. And hockey isn't the only sport that's in need of growth. A lot of the snook clubs have, have closed down. Snook halls used to be packed with the youngsters you know, interested in playing snooker so yeah, hopefully if um, K-Sports can get that, that snooker room up and running then can generate some interest for the youngsters around here and try and try and give snooker a little bit of a boost and get some uh, young UK contenders coming through. Whilst engaging school children is essential for the future, Tracy's main goal is simply to see more people of any age up and active. You've got clubs like K-Sports and you've got others around the county who are trying to engage with the local community in, in many different ways. And it's not just for youngsters. I myself took part in a back-to-hockey session recently. So you get old fuddy-duddies like me returning to sports uh, that they once played as a kid uh, as part of their general physical mental well-being. Holcomb's Barry Middleton recently clocked up his 400th international appearance and with the backing of K Sports, perhaps one of these hockey hopefuls can be the next from Kent to conquer the international stage. Keelan Webster, KMTV.